Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about how I use Notion as an engineer. Now, you don't necessarily have to be an engineer to um, get any tips from this video here. Uh, I consider myself a lifelong learner. I don't really care what I'm learning as long as I'm inputting something into my life. Now, I would say I steer more science, physics, um, chemistry, the sciences and math is where I'm most focused in. So I guess firstly, I guess I just tell you, um, I got a bachelor of science in mechanical engineering and then I minored in math. So you can tell where, where my focus was. Okay. My favorite classes were my math classes. I always wanted to have one or two math classes every semester. Anyway, I ended up getting a math minor. So um, this video is kind of to show my lifelong learning and how I involve that into my life now as an engineer. Um, so what I do every day is I do a word a day. So you'll see in this list here, um, I have it called construction vocabulary. Now that's just because I'm in the construction industry. Although I only build um, or work on construction projects in the semiconductor industry or the data center industry. So a lot of these terms aren't going to be like necessarily construction. Um, they get a little bit deep into controls, which is my favorite part of construction because I know the least amount and I suck the most at it. So naturally, I tend to go for control words because I have no idea what people are talking about when they talk about controls and it's embarrassing. So um, what I've been doing is a word a day. So I track that on my habit tracker. I have that here actually. I use this one called How to Skim Your Life. They have a great book as well, but I found this and I used to print out habit trackers um, and find it that way, but these have habit trackers built in. So you'll see there's like a little checklist. Um, that you check off. So I have one that says construction word. Um, that is the third one on my list. So I'll just tell you what is on my list. I'll maybe do another video on my full habit tracker situation I have going on here. First one is exercise. Second is read. I, those are both 30 minutes. Um, one construction word a day, VBA coding. So that's like a coding language in Excel, which I will also be posting videos on. Um, one typing test and buying a, a stock a day. So those are my goals. So how I do a word a day is like basically come into here and I import a word. So once you, once you, so you'll end up building a page, right? And then you'll have pages within your page here. Um, you'll pick a database or you can put any format. I did the gallery. So you do add a page and gallery. Then I press new, I type in the name I added an acronym. Now I added these as I go along because I didn't know where it was gonna take me. So I have an acronym, definition, topic, with the date it was created and then an image. And then my notes are at the bottom. So if we just go into, let's just go into a random one here. Ethernet IP. Um, so actually we'll find one that has an acronym or some sort. My flow meter one's pretty good. Let's find that guy. Transmitter, so you can see a lot of mine are, are very <laughs> control related. I, I like things that I don't understand. So where is it? I'm probably just passing it. So if you can't find something, you can just go into this quick find and I can go to flow meter. Enter, here is my flow meter. So we have flow meter. I put the little controls tag. Um, that's just so I know. Then I have the name, flow meter, acronym, FM, definition, measures the volumetric flow of a pipe. Topic, here are my topics that I have. I have INC, structural, process, wet mechanical, electrical, chemistry, physics. Um, they vary. I made this one on t October 5th, so it was this month. Um, and then here's some things that are linked to this. So backlinks that I could go to, so some something else in my second brain or in my note-taking system has linked to this page. So I can always go back and be like, hmm, I wonder what that was. Here I have um, a video, Real Pars, my favorite YouTube channel, um, mainly because I'm a huge nerd and they simplify things down for me. <laughs> um, here's some screenshots from um, that video. Here's me linking to other items, um, notes, you know, here's like an equation used. Um, 
I have more notes. I even import like pictures from drawing sets. So when I say drawing sets, I'm talking about like blueprints, right? Um, now these are kind of confidential, but they're, they're such small snips that I just don't think it's a problem. Like this could be on any project. Do you know how many flow meters I've seen in projects over the years? A lot. Um, so I like to leave myself like, oh, if I'm ever looking for a vortex flow meter, I'm like, oh, that's the symbol for it. So um, just small stuff like that. Um, and then you'll see the links. So here, I actually took a class. It's like a little small course. So if I go here, um, I took this class through Thermo Systems. So Thermo Systems is a controlled contractor that I've worked for um, or worked with, or they technically worked for the general contractor, which is my company. And I met this guy named Alex. And I was talking to him and nerding out about my real pars videos on YouTube. Um, and I'll link that below. And he was like, oh, well, Thermo Systems, my company does like a Thermo University. And so he linked me up and sent me some links. And so I've been taking some of their classes and their trainings for people who work at Thermo Systems. But it's a controls contractor. I'm like, hey, you know, I don't know a lot about controls. So I've been taking classes there. And let me tell you, it is helping significantly. So just kind of going out there and networking, putting yourself out there, nerding out a little bit will get you some invites. So I went to this class on magnetic flow meters so I could link it to the flow meter notes I already had done. Um, here is a link to a company that sells a lot of the controls. And, and it's so funny because I use this, I watched this video, never heard of this company. I mean, maybe I have, I just wasn't paying attention. And then I go to review a proposal with flow meters in it. And I'm like, oh my God, it's the same company. And I know all about how to use their website now and how to build like CAD models of the flow meters and stuff like that. So I'm like, wow, like the world I just felt like was shining on me. <laughs> it's one of those moments. Um, so I took this class and then it links to a couple other things like resistance temperature detectors, national pipe taper, you know, then they sent me some cool guides here. It, and it's like this information would have never been available. I would have never joined this presentation if I wasn't just randomly talking to, or you, my job, you know, I wasn't randomly talking to um, Alex who works at Thermo Systems and nerding out on controls a little bit and just expressing my vulnerability, I guess, in the fact that I don't know a lot about controls and that I like to learn. So, I mean, put myself out there and then cool, got a nice class. So that's in my classes um, for Thermo University. So I have Thermo University. So if we go to my courses, um, we can go to Thermo University, you can see the topic, and then I have the classes I took. So this was the first one I took and it was really cool. So back to, let's go back to my stuff. So I have it, I need to move it out of Jaden Goals, but it's my company and I wanted to learn a word a day for the year. So this is where I'm at. Um, but it's so fun to have them linked together because you'll learn one thing, like this is SCADA, right? So I have the acronym, I have the name, definition, and look at all these backlinks. I just love, my favorite part is when I can link all my, my shit together. Um, it's so satisfying and I really like it. Like, I don't even know, it just makes me excited. Like when I'm in a meeting and somebody uses a word that I don't understand, that is my favorite part. I'm like, okay, let's write that down because that's gonna go in my construction like knowledge or whatever. And so I nerd out on this stuff. And then, so if I hear something and I'm like, oh my gosh, an HMI, like I know what that is. Links back, um, I need to build a PLC one, but PLC is like, I feel like I've heard them so often that I feel like I don't need um, an actual one for it. But, um, and then I can link to other courses and stuff. Cause I was thinking about taking a, a course on SQL, um, but some people call it SQL, whatever, don't care. Still want to learn it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is my construction uh, knowledge. And so um, this is how I use it as, as an engineer. Now my, so I told you I was a mechanical engineer, but I work for a general contractor and I review drawings for all the disciplines. So that goes from civil, architectural, structural, um, mechanical, electrical controls, um, uh, mechanical, did I say mechanical? Whatever. I review it all. So that means I have to know everything. And that's one of my favorite parts 
about my job is the fact that I get to learn so much and like nothing's off limits. Like if I want to dive a, do a deep dive into like chemistry because I saw the word anion, I can. <laughs> like I'm allowed to do that. And I'm basically like a glorified checker. So I just check things. Now there's not really anything special about it. I'll just check what the drawings say against the specs and I'll check that against something else that I was given and I just check things. And sometimes people are like, oh wow, Liz, you're really smart. And it's like, no, I really just, I just check this thing about against that and they don't align. And then I ask the question and whatever. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm also just very passionate and, and kind of aggressive in general. So, um, and I like to learn. So I think all of that together is just makes my job really fun. Now, um, the people who design the drawings would be the designers. I would never really want to be a designer, mainly because everybody is mad at them. Like, from my experience at least, nobody is like, oh, we love that designer. Like, that's not a thing. Like, maybe. But for the most part, the clients are mad at the designers. Um, the general contractor's mad at the designers. Um, the designers take all the heat. It's like, the designers are the ones working like 70, 80 hour weeks. And you know what? I really like working my 40 hours like i really do like i don't want to work 70 hours a week and the best part about my job is i don't actually have to go and fix the things that i find wrong sometimes i just have to note them and send them in a nice kind email and then it's off my chest i did what i can do and then i move on because um, you need somebody to kind of tie it all together and check because your electrical designer is not going to talk to your mechanical designer. It's just not a thing, at least that I've noticed. Um, they just don't talk to each other and they live on opposite sides of the office. And um, here I am to check, check things and get paid for it. <laughs> um, anyway, enough about my job here, but I just kind of wanted to explain because I'm not your... I, I'm in a, I'm in kind of a different role than than a typical mechanical engineer I I think because I'm like way more multidisciplinary, um, which I personally like because it's variety. Um, anyway, back into my construction knowledge here. Nothing is really off limits for me. Like I feel like I get paid to learn. So I hear like, let's see, I was in I was in ultra pure water and then I heard reverse osmosis and then I heard the word anion and cation and I remember those words but I didn't it's different when you hear them and you're actually working with something like you hear an anion bed and stuff and it's like okay if I know what an anion, anion is maybe I can understand this process and then it just kind of builds off itself so I'll do a lot of chemistry too so you'll see I tagged as chemistry and then um, you have it tagged to some other other guys here um, got a, some equate or not, not really an equation, but I did it in like the equation format in notion, but yeah, it's just kind of like lifelong learning. And this is how I track it. It also is a great showpiece for when, um, my, my boss does like my review and I say, look at all the things I learned and tracking as well. So as I put in, so my flow meter, like I showed you before, as I put in more drawings, which I plan on doing, um, it'll help me for when I'm on other projects because I don't necessarily work with one designer. I work with multiple. So you're talking, let's see, some design groups like Corbin, Design Group, um, Mazzetti, Page, um, and on and on and on. Um, KW does a lot of data center ones. So I work with lots of different designers. The symbols are all very similar, but they, they differ. There's different, there's different hatches, there's different etches. I, I, they just always want to change things. Um, but I personally um, think it's kind of fun. It's kind of like a puzzle. So I will start um, taking screenshots and putting them um, in places where they're relevant for uh, on my vocabulary list here. Um, and then I also like to do courses as well. But this is strictly on how I use it as an engineer um, and how I use it in work. Um, I, I, I don't like the idea of having your work separate from your life. Mine's together. Uh, I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd at work and I'm a nerd at home and I like it. <laughs> I enjoy it. And the linking of things is really fun. Um, but I think that's it. I just kind of want to go through my process and, and why I how I track things uh, through work 
and I, I personally think it's fun. So anyway, um, leave any comments below if you have any suggestions on how I might organize this better. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video.